<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Leilani of Barbados. I am so flattergasted at this recent news that Artwell Foundation is a money laundering scam. But at the same time, I must say, I feel like I have deja vu because I did a skit about a year ago where I think it was when Megan received that one million pounds in that lawsuit against the Daily Mail and she promised to donate it to some anti-bullying charity or something. It was very vague uh, what she said she was going to do with the money. But I did this skit where the administration in Archwell was planning a golf trip and I was wearing this shirt with the money and they were just checking to see when they could leave. You have an entire charity called Archwell after your son and you can never say exactly what the bloody charity is doing. You know, so I thought the only thing that's going to happen out of this is that the whole thing is going to be a, a complete chaos. So I did this skit. <laughs> Here, let's look hey, at this. Hey, hi, hello. This is Gus calling from the financial department at R12. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hi. Um, we've just been wondering if the check clear from the Duchess Daily Mail lawsuit check. Yeah, we've been. Yeah, we just have some really good ideas for it. So. I'm ready for Hawaii. Um, yeah. No, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Just let me know when it clears. Yeah, yeah. We want to do some anti-bullying campaign. You know, you know how we do. Yeah. We do stuff. Yeah, so I kind of saw this coming in one way or another. Anyway, we didn't hear anything about anything until this deep dive investigation. This Envoy special video is from April 2023. It's in three parts, but I'm just giving you the synopsis. I have the translation here as it's all in French. Location, Archwell Foundation, Harry and Meghan. The offices are huge, but totally deserted. Okay, so that's like a boardroom of some kind. A leaf. French journalists ask, have you never seen Harry and Meghan here? The woman laughs, but does not answer the question at first. Then she answers, okay, go now. <laughs> the voiceover is Harry and Meghan, a philanthropic couple who only travel or move at the request of official institutions or for charity galas. In their new life, officially their only job is managing a foundation. So this is their website from their foundation, the Archwell Foundation. Our main goal is simply to do good. This seems a bit light. On other pages, we see self-promotion for Prince Harry's book. But nowhere does it say how to make a donation, for example. We dived and delved into the official accounts. In their latest financial report, the couple claimed to have raised 13 million for their charity. Le couple déclare avoir récolté 13 million de dollars pour ses bonnes œuvres. Listed in this table are the 22 checks they distributed to charities. In total, 2.9 million dollars. Other significant expenditure, 1 million. But this time, for their operation or budget costs. Result, 9 million is sleeping in the foundation's accounts and is currently useless. I think that might be like a translation error. I think when they say useless, they mean 9 million is not in use. It's, it's not helping anybody. Why isn't all this money being used to do good as their foundation intends? This discrepancy between the figures and their philanthropic discourse is not totally unprecedented for the couple. When they were still in London, they already had a foundation, the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. For the year 2020, they had raised 782,000 in donations. Of this sum, 705 was spent not on associations, but on operating costs. Clearly, 90% of the money never helped anyone. That's incredible to me, okay? Because I was just about to say that the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, they should not have been able to play up in that money because it was a Queen's Foundation. But actually, they were given the title of president and vice president, which only recently was finally taken down their pictures and their titles from this website. But, oh my goodness, they even played up in the Queen's money. Doesn't that kind of give you a hint um, that it was time for them to go? I think they decided, I mean, it's highly possible that someone said, um, there are some discrepancies that we've never had in the entire history of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. And suddenly it's Meghan and Harry that are running the show. And they heard that and they said, 
yeah, uh, tonight's the night. We gotta leave. <laughs> They're catching on to us. It's time to go. And perhaps that's especially why the queen was blindsided by them leaving, because they had no intention of letting anyone know where they were going and when, because they had some questions to answer. This is insane. What would be good would be to find the address to go there, to know a bit more about their objectives. And then, who knows, maybe we'll be able to meet them. Let's go! <laughs> this is journalism, honey, okay? <laughs> Let's go! He's there, sitting in a cafe in Montecito, and he's going to go and find them. <laughs> wow. And their offices, conveniently, are not far from home. Even more reason to be at the office. Um, he says, we enter with a discreet camera. When we reach the right door, not a sound. The offices are huge, but totally deserted. On the walls and doors, no mention of their foundation. An employee of the place eventually comes to meet us. Let's go look at this place. Okay, it looks like a regular office building with a lobby and a front desk. Again, that's what it started with the conference room. Literally nothing. No, no titles, no logo, nothing that indicates that this is Archwell as opposed to a medical office, you know, or any other office. Hello, bonjour, excuse me. We are looking for the Archwell Foundation. Is it here? A woman's voice says, do you have an appointment? Reporter's answer, no. The woman resumes, this is a lawyer's office here. They are not here. The reporter asks, is it not here? <laughs> it's here, or is it over there? Or is it where, or is it here? <laughs> it's the lawyer's office, it's their lawyer's office. Oh my God, Artwell is, it's an escrow fund. It's literally the money they keep in escrow to pay their lawyers to sue people all the time. That's what it is. It's basically a front company just to keep the money coming in to sue people and pay good lawyers. Why else would, I mean, I know that this happens where you can keep your business or something of your business registered in your law, lawyer's office. I think law firms have that special capability to do that for people. But at the same time, you're literally Meghan Markle and Prince Harry and you don't have a storefront with a shingle hanging up. Why not? Why are you so cheap? Anyway, the woman replies, no. This is their law firm. Whose law firm? Now that's interesting. Reporter says, so you've never seen Harry and Meghan here. And I just hear her, I just hear the woman laughed in response to that. She goes, <laughs> and looks down at the ground. Oh, and then she says, yeah, you have to go now. Okay, go now. Yeah, the woman laughs, but did not answer the question. That's what I just said. And then she says, okay, go now. And that's it. That's all they got from her. So the other idea could be that this law firm is owned by Meghan and Harry. I don't know. In the Caribbean, I know you can own a law firm like as a business, like you can own a franchise, you can own a law firm and you're not yourself an, uh, an attorney. So you can own a medical office and you pay salaries in that office to doctors and staff, but you yourself are not a doctor, you're a businessman or businesswoman. There's also that possibility that they just have this law firm as a business they own. Also very odd because they're supposed to be a charity that's doing good for people, not generating money from a high earning business prospect, if that makes sense. I just don't understand how they're just out here in the wild in plain sight scamming people. I'm sorry. I just... I know that's what I thought would happen, but I just can't believe it's actually come to fruition. It's not just the British press making up lies about you. In fact, people in France don't like you. And there are probably people all over the world that have found you all to be frauds. So it could be all three of those things. So like the staff in Archwell plays with the money and it doesn't get to where it's supposed to go to and it's called operating costs. And we saw an article that came out last week about people getting paid to work an hour a week, millions of dollars a year, right? Just to work an hour a week, including the two of them, Megan and Harry. So it could be that the staff themselves play with the money. It could be that they own an entity, a law firm, and then are somehow funneling the profits through a charity. Not good. Could be that the law firm owns Archwell. <laughs> Okay. Or there's a fourth one. 
The money that's nine million could literally have come from the Oprah interview because that nine million keeps coming up. I've never seen a nine come up so much around people for years. You know, nine million, nine million. Oprah paid them nine million, but Oprah insists that she did not pay them. But then they said, well, she paid Doria because apparently Doria cleared her check for nine million. The bottom line is it's a scam. And I'm just here to report that for the second time. I think the first time was sort of a prediction, but this time I think we have confirmed this is a long uh, documentary and I will go through it all and look at it all, but it's in French. So, <laughs> yeah. Nah. By the way, I just want to say Montecito doesn't seem that impressive at all. To me, it looks dated, it, but not dated in a vintage Hollywood cool way or like a Palm Springs way even, more like a just dated like just left and just not kept up meh it's meh and there's also this debate as to whether or not they actually still live in montecito and if not there where do they live and i've gone and covered that as well so we really don't know but what we do know is that at the end of the day they are just two scammers that i mean as much as they appear disingenuous when they speak to the camera and speak to people it's very deep it's a deep fraud that's going on here so how could they act genuine, really? He could have just sat in the royal family and been a prince, not too much responsibility, not much was expected of him. He was a carefree party boy. <laughs> Somebody knew his capabilities were only this much, and so he wasn't given this much responsibility. Now all of a sudden, he's broken free of, I think, people who were protecting him. Megan's saying that you were trapped and all this kind of thing. I think he was protected is the right word and now he's just out here in the wild promoting dubious mental health treatments i don't want to talk about what it is because i'll get demonetized again but basically you know what he's taking and what he's indulging in for therapeutic purposes really bad misinformation completely irresponsible these are things that he would have been protected from doing to the public okay or the royal family protected the public from him doing to us when he was in the royal family he always looks like he's being tricky when he's working with megan when he's with megan in interviews he looks like he's just there taking the piss is what they say and i don't appreciate it and i just wish he was just in a suit okay doing royal stuff cutting ribbons and they bring him out and he does some buffoonery and then they put him back in <laughs> in the cage <laughs> They sent him to Africa for a while, nobody checks for him for a while, and then they bring him back and put him quickly back in the box. I really prefer that because this is irresponsible, it's unfair, and it's getting to the point where it's sickening. And I don't know if they're going to have some kind of like intervention therapy when he goes to the coronation, or, you know, they're going to like send him to rehab, or I, I really hope so, because it's going like this, his life really down and let's not forget that there are two children that are also going to have this legacy oh my goodness it's it's really sad when you're a clawing wannabe actress and you're just clawing and clawing you never get anywhere and you're covetous and you're just jealous of Catherine and you're jealous of everybody that's ever been in your life including your sister who has multiple sclerosis you're a horrible person I'm sorry, you really are and now you're taking down other people with you and they certainly won't be getting any money from me Okay, <laughs> lots of love. Thank you very much for watching this and I will see you in the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification. Like this video if you did like it and I will be live streaming the coronation. Lots of love. Bye. <laughs>